everyone, what's up? Well, unfortunately I relayed the bad news of my H. Lovidum's passing. A very old, mature female, wild caught, bought from a pet store five years ago, so I could have expected her to last a good time, but um, she did live a good life with me, so that, that's, that's a pretty good sign. Then I told you at the end of that video that I got a package, or so expecting at least. So I did get the package, um, unfortunately I'm not going to upload the video because the other H. Gabinensis female that he sent me was another dead on arrival. So uh, that really sucks, I don't know what happened, it, if for sure it was not in pre-molt nor was it molting in transit. Yeah, I don't know, it may, may have been the heat that got to her. Yeah, so anyway, we'll work something out, so I just called them up let them know about the passing, so. Fortunately, I'm not going to make a new feeding video today, because uh, I'm pretty tired, but we got a new addition. Check this out. Yeah. So, a little funny story. So, I got this from a pet store. So, if anyone watches my videos, especially way back on Tarantula Feeding Video 17, you met a person on there named Angelo. Well, Angelo was a good guy. Um, we met a couple of years ago. We, he was kind enough to lend me a Medusa, his mature female P. Pedersenni, which unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks ago. So anyway, I called him up to see how he was doing since I haven't spoke to him in many months. I uh, asked him uh, about if they had any lividum in stock, but he told me that he found something that was pretty interesting and he thought I should come and see it. So I went to the pet store, in a very nice and clean pet store. Uh, maybe I'll film it one of these days. Uh, I had lovely uh, scorpions, they had flat rocks, they had, uh, uh, what else did they have? They had emperors. Couple centipedes they had. They had a praying mantis, which is um, for, which is, was really rare to to find. And then he had a large Pac-Man frog. It was about this big. But I wanted to get it, but for reasons I don't really want to, because they feed on mice, and I just don't have a heart to feed live mice to um, my inverts or any pets for that matter. So I decided to get myself. Another P. Cancerides. Funny thing, Angelo was petrified to actually get into a box, so I said, you know, I'm an expert, let me show you how to do it. So I just took a little paintbrush, screwed it right in, didn't show any signs of aggression. Until now. She is mean. Meaner than sin. She is much more larger than Isabella. So I don't know what to call her yet, but uh, she is definitely the spawn from hell. And you can actually see her, she's biting. Yeah, so Angelo wanted to tell me that uh, he's starting to breed centipedes uh, in Canada, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's supposed to come tomorrow, which is a good thing because uh, he wants to purchase one of my Regalis and Sancti Vincenti slings, but maybe what I'll think I'm doing, because he's gonna he's gonna bring one of my one of his centipedes over. Uh, we actually might get our very first centipede. Uh, not sure what species it is. Uh, it's called the Asian centipede. So, Scolopendra species, <laughs> for that matter. Maybe uh, subspecies or something like that. Anyway. All right. So, this is the enclosure I just prepared. So, let's give an overview of it, and then I'm going to get a person to actually film it. So. What I have here is a large critter keeper. This is the Funarium by Hagen. I have Eco Earth Substrate, the coconut fiber. Uh, this is the one that you get from a pet store, the brick. I uh, have a little cave here, got from the pet store, plants from the dollar store, and a little cute water bowl. Now, it's time to see how large the specimen is. I'm assuming this is a female. Oh yeah, she ain't happy. This is like six inches. As you can see, it's taped because the lid didn't wasn't secure enough. It wasn't big enough for the container. 
but she's definitely bigger than uh, Isabella. This is her, if you want to compare. She is around uh, three years old. I got her as a half an inch spiderling, raised her up, and three short years time. That's her. She's one of the fastest growing terrestrial species that I have. And Tarantula Canada has uh, Formictopus platus, so I might actually decide to buy one. Also, a memory, a P. metallica, since now the price is now, they just got an egg sack, and right now they're three quarters of an inch going for $125. So I might actually uh, buy one. Uh, so that hopefully. Um, that one is a male and I could breed with Mia. Okay. Oh yeah, forgot to mention. A big tea like this, 30 bucks at the pet store. So that was a pretty sick deal. Considering Isabella was only $25 as a half an inch. Alright. She actually bit the deli cup a couple of times. But yeah, she's going to be a nice addition to the collection. I'm starting to really like the Formictopus species. I'm very impressed. He, she, he said it was a very good eater. And they grow quick, like weeds. Okay. Come on, you're not so bad. Oh my god, she is a big one. That is a nice tea. Everyone get it for Mictopus uh, Concerides if you want to. But I don't suggest owning this for a beginner. This is the bad beginner because of its really aggressive nature. Um, these are one of the most offensive terrestrials that I've worked with. I mean, Lividum is not as bad as this. This is a good size female. And there you go. You can note the size difference between this new one and our known Isabella. Just touch your admin. Yeah, definitely not a happy tea. She's scary, very scary. And he had every re right and reason to be scared of the species. So tomorrow, I'm not going to be busy at all. I just have like three or four uh, clients to do. And then we'll feature the newest feeding video uh, with this uh, tea. Or maybe a couple days with this tea. I just want her to settle in, in her new enclosure. But, uh, but anyway, that's an awesome tea. Love it. I'm starting to love these Formictopus species just by their growth and their attitudes. <laughs> sure can't beat them. That's for sure. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.